Hello, Edwin Antonio, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you tonight, Edwin? I'm good, teacher. That sounds great. Thank you so much for your punctuality. How was your day today? My day was busy today. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, did you listen to music today? Or you didn't have time? So, um, this day, uh, you don't listen to music. Okay, it was, you were very busy today. I know that. Yes, mm. I have three meeting with the client. And I don't have time. Okay, so, and today is a Tuesday, right? No vamos ni a la mitad de la semana, but. It's okay, no problem. Hello, Evelyn. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight, Evelyn? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm a little bit sick, and I'm, I'm good. How was your day, Evelyn? Hey. Bastante ocupado, pero bien, gracias a Dios, al final de cuentas. Ok, that's excellent. Very good. Thank you so much, Evelyn. Thank you for your punctuality. Welcome to the class. Hello, Crisia. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? Mm, I'm great. Excellent. Thank you for answering the questions. Okay, uh, let's start with the class. Uh, do you have any questions about the platform exercises? Don't forget that during this week, you have to complete the section number four. So do you have any question, any problem with those exercises? No problem, no question. And yesterday we were talking about describing physical appearance, right? So let's start with the night class, if you don't have any other question. Hello, Cristina, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you tonight? I'm tired. I'm sorry to hear that. So don't, <laughs> don't, don't worry. In 58 minutes, you are going to go to bed and press a lot. So <laughs> okay. relax. Relax during the class. Hello, Alexis. And not Thanks. me. Welcome to the class. Hello. Thank you. How are you? I'm a little bit sick, right? I have a, a cold. But I'm good. So we are going to start with the class tonight. So let's go with the topic. Today we're going to study modifier gerund and preposition. This is the topic for tonight. So let's go with this. Here we go. Welcome to the class 11. We're going to talk about modifier gerund and also preposition. And this is the lesson objective for tonight. In this section, you will listen to a dialogue where two people use modifiers with participle and preposition. <clears throat> so yesterday we were studying this question, what does he look like? What is the meaning of this question? What does he look like? What's the meaning of this question? Do you remember it? Okay, excellent. So can you tell me some adjective to describe this guy? Well, he is thin and I think he's tall and his skin is white skin color. 
and he is wearing a yellow shirt. Very good sentences. Thank you so much. And so you say he's thin. He is wearing a yellow t-shirt. Very good. And also he has white skin. Great sentence. I think you also remember for describing physical appearance, we can use two verbs, uh, the very uh, to be and also the very have. So let's talk about his hair. Can you describe his hair? Then you need to use he has. He has brown hair, blue jeans. Okay, thank you. So you say he has brown hair. He has brown hair. Any other any other sentence to describe his hair? He has a bracelet on his uh, wrist. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. So talking about his hair, we can say he has brown hair. That is the color. What about the size of his hair? We can say he has short hair. Short hair. And also we can say that he has a straight hair. Tiene cabello liso. He has straight hair. Then, let's see, general appearance. Is he handsome? Is he attractive? Well built? What do you yes, think? Yes, he's handsome. Okay, he's handsome. Thank you, he's handsome. That is a good sentence. And to describe what is he wearing, we need his wearing. He is wearing. Then we say he is wearing a blue jeans. Blue jeans. Okay. Yellow t-shirt, yellow t-shirt and shoes. Okay, excellent. And also sun. He's wearing sunglasses. Mm. He's wearing sunglasses too. Okay, so in this way we describe people using the verb to be using he is, right? An objective he is plus the objective. Oh, sorry, objective. And also he has. He has el tiene, right? And a physical characteristic he has. He is and also he has. Can you help me please with the next? Let's describe the next. Let me, let me erase this here. He has a uh, blue jean. He has, can you repeat your sentence, Francisco? He has a uh, blue jeans. Okay, he has blue jeans or he is wearing, he is wearing blue jeans. Uh, what does she look like? What does she look like? Physical appearance. Tell me some adjective to describe this woman. He has a dress red. Okay, he is wearing a red dress. She is wearing, sorry, she is wearing a red dress. Very good sentence. Any other sentence to describe this woman? She is wearing a jacket. She is wearing a jacket. Thank you. Now, uh, hi. She's wearing sunglasses. She's wearing sunglasses. That is a great sentence. Now, what about her height? Tall, short, average, height? She's tall. She's tall. Okay, that is a good sentence. She, Thank you. She has a shopping bag. Okay, she's carrying. She's carrying some shopping bag. And what about general appearance? Is she cute, pretty, beautiful, attractive, gorgeous? 
Then you say she is attractive. She is beautiful. She is pretty. She is cute. She is old. She is old. Oh, there is another one. She's old. She's young. You say she's old. Okay, and what about her hair? What color is her, her hair? What color is her hair, guys? Tell me. Uh, she's she has long teacher. Okay, so she has long hair and she has my blonde hair. She has blonde hair. Nice, thank you so much. Then let's go with this. Um, okay. Tonight we have a practice, right? Do you remember that? You are, are going to describe yourself. <laughs> Yes, do you remember about the homework? Are you ready? Okay, so... okay. so let me have a homework for tonight, for tonight, right? So you are going to describe yourself. Are you ready? Yes, Anita, are you ready for describe yourself, guys? Yes or no? Tell me, please. ¿Están listos para describirse a ustedes mismos utilizando los adjetivos que aprendimos el día de ayer? Say yes, no. Mm, so, so, yes. Ok. Yes. yes. Ok, any volunteer to start? Who wants to start? Any volunteer? Describe yourself to the class. Any volunteer for tonight who wants to participate? Then you are going to say, I am, I have. Any volunteer? Well, I'm going to try, but <laughs> so, um, I. My name is Grisia and my skin color is brown. I have a long hair, not so long, but I have a brown long hair and I am, I'm not thin, but I'm not fat. I'm like chubby, chubby. Okay, excellent. And and my height, my height is 1.59 centimeters. And that's all. Okay, excellent. Just the word hair, that is hair. Hair is the pronunciation. I have long hair. Thank you so much, Christian. Excellent job. Very good. Any other volunteer, any other brave students who want to participate tonight describing yourself? Nobody wants. Volunteers? Okay, Chrissy, I choose one of your classmates, please. Can you see their names there? Choose one. I had Fatima, Sandra, Hosman, Carlos, Cristina. Osmin, Alexis, Yami, Evelyn, Harrison, Francisco, and Edwin. Um, Carlos Dominguez. Okay, Carlos Dominguez. Can you describe yourself to the class? Hello, Carlos, can you? Okay, it seems that Carlos doesn't want. Any other volunteer? Me, I teacher. Have... Ah. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, let's go with Christina then. 
Okay. I have a short hair, black with blonde. And my eyes are brown. Um, 2.63. I'm 37 years old. And <clears throat> I'm showing. And this moment, I wear a dress with black sandals. Okay, thank you so much. I am wearing the last sentence. I am wearing. Yes, okay. thank you so much. I am wearing. Okay. Okay, excellent job. Thank you so much, Cristina. Francisco, do it. Uh, I believe I, I am tall. Uh, I, I have eyes brown black uh, I wearing uh, now I wearing uh, a shirt t-shirt and short uh, I am piel como se dice en inglés quien piel quien 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 um, well, well, I have a kin. Uh, I don't know what. Uh, brown, brown, brown skin. Brown. Okay, brunette yes. skin, brunette skin, brown skin, brown skin. And um, I have a cheer, cheer hair, short hair. Okay, I have short, short hair, hair, hair. I have short hair, hair. Uh, it's always, uh, it's, it's only. Ah, okay, that is. When we're going to finish speaking in a presentation, we say, that is. That's it. Como eso es todo, that's it. That's it. That is the phrase. That's it. Okay, excellent. Just one more. One more and we continue with the class. <laughs> Any other brave students who wants to participate tonight? Just one more. Uh, me teacher, Smin. Thank you so much, Smin. Yes, my name is Osmin Rivera. Uh, my hair is black, black color. My eyes are brown color. My skin is brown. My hair is... 1.65 meters. Uh, in this moment, I'm wearing a t-shirt, a black t-shirt, um, and short. Okay, excellent, excellent sentences. Thank you so much, me. Okay, very good. So, Tricia, Cristina, Francisco, thank you so much for your help. Uh, any other volunteer? Me, no? teacher. Oh, thank you so much, Evelyn. Describe yourself, Evelyn. Okay. I am here with dark skin, curly black hair. Uh, I am medium hair. Uh, my age brown and no sé qué más. That's all. That's it. Thank you so much. My eyes are brown. My eyes are brown. Oh, I have brown eyes. Thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. No more volunteers. If no more volunteers, let's continue with the class then. Hello, teacher. Hello, Hosman. Yes, teacher. Do it, Hosman. You can do it. Okay. Okay. I am a tall. My hair is short. My color is brown. My skin is is white. Uh, is wearing bl uh, blue shirt. My shirt is color black and choose black. And it is 
That's it. Perfect. Thank you, Husband. That's... Excellent sentences. So I'm wearing, I'm wearing a blue t-shirt and black short. Oh, a blue t-shirt, black short, and black short and black shoes. Thank you. Okay, let's continue with the class then. So let's go with the next topic. And it is. Let's go with this modifier with participle and preposition. So let's, let's read first. What is a modifier? A modifier is a word or group of words which specified or modify a noun or pronoun. Example, he is the man, he is the one. En lugar de decir he is husband, I say he is the man, he is the boy, he is the guy, he is the, the John. Then that is a modifier, right? He is the man, he is the one. You can say he's the man, he's the one, he is the gentle, he's the gentleman, él es el caballero. ¿no? Entonces, en lugar de decir Hosman, yo digo el hombre, eh, ese, ¿verdad? ese joven, ese, ese señor. So he's the man, he's the one. That is a modifier. And what is a participle? A participle is a verb eh, with ing form. That is the ing form of the verb. For example, dancing, wearing, standing, talking. Preposition. Preposition is a word which is used to show relationship between two persons, two places, and two things. And some of them are these, with, in, and next to. <laughs> Those are prepositions. With, in, next to. So let's see this example here. These are the questions. Who's Raul? Imagine that you are in a party, están en una fiesta y está buscando a Raúl. Who's Raúl? De todas las personas que están ahí, ¿quién es Raúl? O puede utilizar la siguiente pregunta, which one is Raúl? Who's Raúl? Which one is Raúl? He's the man. He's the man wearing a green shirt. En este caso está utilizando un participio. Wearing. He's the man wearing a green shirt. En lugar de decir Raúl es el que está utilizando una camiseta verde. He's the man wearing a green shirt. O puede decir he's the one. He's the one wearing a green t-shirt. He's the man talking to Liz. He's the one talking to Liz. Now, who's Liz? ¿Quién es Liz? She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smith? They're, all, they're the people next to the window. Which one are the Smith? They are the ones on the couch. So then we use modifier and also participle in preposition para uh, ubicar a una persona. Cuando andamos buscando a alguien para describir a una persona, podemos utilizar modifier, participle, and preposition. Let me show you some example here. Okay, later we are going to read this example. Who is Ben? Okay, take a look at this. There are three guys in this picture. So, who is Ben or which one is Ben? ¿Quién creen ustedes que es Ben de los tres? And then we use which one is Ben or who is Ben. Cualquiera de las dos preguntas podemos utilizar. Who is Ben? Which one is Ben? Then he is the one in pants. He is the guy with long hair. Or he is the man with long hair. And all these are a preposition. If I want to wear, let's see, Jerons. He is the one wearing sandals. He's the guy smiling. He's the man wearing sandals. Then, who is Ben? The, the middleman. Okay, Ben is the... 
middle with fifth. Okay. Fifth. Yes. Between between the other men. The other the other guy. The, the other person guy. who is between the other guy. So he is Ben. He is Ben. Okay, now I am looking for Jake. I am looking for Jake. Who is Jake? Let's try to find he's, Jake. He's the one with a cup uh, black. Okay, excellent. Then I'm going to use a jet on. You say he is he's the man. He's the man wearing a, he's the man wearing a cap black or a black cap. A black cap. A black cap. Uh -huh. Yes. A black cap. Okay. And a shirt of black. Um, okay, excellent. So you say he is the one wearing a black. He is the man wearing a black tee here. Any other sentence to find Jake? I have two. He is the man wearing a black cap. He is the one wearing a black tee shirt. He is the he is the one wearing a black shoe. Okay. Yeah. He's the one wearing black shoes. Perfect. He is the one wearing black shoes. He is the one wearing black shoes. Thank you. Perfect sentence. Any other? Any other sentence to find Jake? He's the man wearing black sunglasses. Sunglasses, sería, teacher. Wearing sunglasses, sería, yes. Wearing sunglasses. Yes. Okay. Black sunglasses. <laughs> Como no los anda pues, podemos decir with sunglasses. Okay. With sunglasses. Eh, sería una preposición, with. También podemos utilizar la preposición next to, ¿no? So you say, is he is the guy next to Ben. Como ya conocíamos a Ben, pues he is the guy next to Ben. And that is a preposition. Thank you so much for your sentences. Let's find another person. Let's finish these sentences and let's go with the next. Okay, look at these two girls. Who is Kelly? Or which one is Kelly? And I have these sentences. She's the one in black blouse. She's the woman with long hair. She's the girl on the chair. Or she's the girl in front of the window. And using, using Jaron, he's the one taking a selfie. Oh, sorry, she is. She is. Let me pick this. She is. Okay. So let me finish the presentation and I'm going to pick this. It's she. In this part, just a second. Okay, she's, she's the one taking a selfie. She's the woman sitting under the plant. So, quien de las dos is Kelly? Who is Kelly? She's the one in black blows. Okay, blouse. the one in, blue, in black blows. So blouse. she is Kelly, right? Mm -hmm. Then you can say she is the woman using her cell phone. Es la mujer que está utilizando el teléfono. She is the girl with long hair. With long brown hair. She's the girl on the shirt, on the chair. She's the girl on the chair. Excellent. Very good. 
Then let's go back to this. Okay, now let's see these sentences. He is the man dancing in the living room. <laughs> um, let me identify the modifier, the participle, and the preposition in the next sentence. Let's see. He is the man dancing in the living room. What is the modifier in this sentence? What is the modifier? Any idea? The man, the man. Okay, excellent. What is the participle? Uh, dancing. Dancing, okay. He's the man dancing. And the preposition in the sentence, we have a preposition too. In. In is the preposition, excellent. So we have, he's the man dancing in the living room. Then we have modifier, participle, and preposition in this sentence. Here's the one wearing a dress. Can you identify the modifier in the second sentence? Mm, yes, the modifier is the one. Thank it's you so much. Do we have a preposition or a participle in this sentence? Can you find the preposition or the participle? The participle is where? Okay, perfect. So in this sentence, we don't have preposition. What about number three? Is the Japanese hey. woman with dark hair? Is the Japanese woman with dark hair? What is the modifier? The Japanese woman. Okay, thank you, Carlos. The Japanese woman. Yes. And do we have a preposition or a participle in this sentence? The preposition is with. With. Okay, thank you. The preposition is with. With dark hair. He's the one in white hand. He's the one in white hand. What the is the modifier and what is the preposition? The mother, the modifier is the one, and preposition is in. Thank you, Francisco. Excellent. And the last one, she's the tall person next to the window. She's the tall person next to the window. The modifier is the tall person. Yes. And the preposition or participle? Next to. Next to is the preposition. Okay. So let's uh, let's go with this conversation here. Oh, just a second. Where are they? Where are they? They are in a party. Okay, yes, they are in a party. So it's a conversation between Liz and Raul. So it's a hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Any new vocabulary in this small conversation? Cold teacher. Oh, she couldn't. This part couldn't. This one? Yes. Okay. Oh, she couldn't. Ella no pudo. Ella no pudo. She couldn't make it. Ella no pudo venir, ¿verdad? No pudo hacer el tiempo para venir. So she went to a concert with Alex. 
ella fue a un concierto con Alex. So couldn't sería no pudo. La could es el pasado de can. Ok. Any other new work in this part? So, Anjun, Anjun teacher. Anjun, no, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Anyone, Anjun. anyone here. She doesn't oh, know okay. anyone here. Ella okay. no conoce a nadie. Anyone, nadie oh, aquí. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Thank you for your question. Any other question? Teacher, ¿qué significa? She's, eh, la palabra es la última, standing. Standing, she's standing. Oh, standing. Es estar de pie. She's standing. Gracias. Ella está de pie o está parada. Any other question? Uh, I'd like to meet uh, her. Uh, what is... I'd like to meet her. Ok, I es la contracción de would. I would like to meet her. Uh, I would... I would like significa me gustaría. Entonces okay. sería me gustaría conocer, me gustaría conocerla. Ok, ¿y si Julia? ¿Y si Julia? No, Ok, no, she isn't. ¿Y si Julia? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Her? ¿Y si Julia? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Is she Julia? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay, yes, excellent. Is. Can you please identify the participle in this conversation? Is there any participle here? A standing. She's standing near the window. Okay, thank you. That is one. Standing. Any other? Wearing. Wedding is another participle. Thank you. Wedding. Any other? Standing. Okay. What about preposition? Can you identify some preposition here? Alex. With Alex. With Alex. Alex. With. Okay. With. Alex. That is one. With. Any other preposition? Yes. Okay, in in jeans. Yes. That is another one. In jeans. Thank you. Hay una más. What is it? De? No, there is a no. medical. Teacher, over? Over there? Over? Over there? Let's see. What is it? My question is if oh, is over the is woman wearing glasses over there. No, that isn't two. Two is not a proposition. Two. Mm -mm. Okay, the, the last one is this one near. What is the meaning of this proposition? Is the standard. Cerca. Near the window, cerca de la ventana, that is a preposition, near is the other one. And some modifier here. Okay, she's the tall one, that is one, she's the tall one. And she's the woman, oh, is she the woman, the woman wearing glasses over there? So, do you have any question in this part? If no question, I need two volunteers. I need to volunteer. Me, Cristian. Me, teacher, Francisco. Sure. Cristian and Francisco. Okay, Cristian, you are Liz. And Francisco, you are Raul. Can you please start practicing? Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she called and make it. She went to a concert with Alex. 
Oh, well, why do you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glass over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good job, guys. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Francisco. That was perfect. And super job. Thank you. Any other volunteer to practice? Do I have any other participant who wants to participate? Yes, sir. Thank you, Smin. Thank you so much, Smin. Anybody? Smin, teacher, Carlos. Okay, Smin and Carlos. Smin, you are going to read Liz's part, and Carlos, you are going to read Raul part. Let's start. Okay, teacher. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oh, she called me. It. She went to concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's, sta she's standing near the window. Oh, he'd like to meet her. I'm sorry. Thank you so much, guys. Very good job. Yeah. Let, uh, let's see some words. Let's see, for example, this part. How do you pronounce this part? Who wants to help me? Make it. Thank you so much. She couldn't make it. Make it. And let's see the other one. This one, how do you pronounce this? Talk. Talk. Yes. Thank you. And let's see the other one. Oh, this other bear. She doesn't. No. She doesn't know anyone here. She doesn't know anyone here. Thank you. And this other one. Uh, let me see. This word. Near. Near. And the last one. Standing. Standing, standing near the window. She is standing near the window. Thank you so much. The last two volunteers to practice in this part. The last two volunteers who wants, who wants to participate. I have Anna and... Me, teacher, Jamie. Anna and Jamie, thank you. Anna, you are going to read Liz's part and Jamie, you are going to read Raul's part. Hi, Raul. Let's start. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oh, she could make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Excellent, thank you so much. Excellent job, that was perfect, thank you. Thank you, Anna and Jamie. So let's continue with this. Um, before to go to the next exercise, um, let's see. What does she look like? Can you tell me some sentences? What does she look like? Tell me three sentences describing Julia. Uh, she's look relaxed. Okay, she's, she's relaxed. She, she is wearing she's... a one look relaxed. Okay, she's relaxed. She's very tall. Okay, she's very tall. Una más acerca de Julia. What does she look like? She is slim and her hair is black. Thank you so much. She's slim and her hair is black. Perfect sentence. Thank you. And what about him? 
three sentences, what does he look like? He's wearing a glasses. Okay, he's wearing glasses. He is wearing glasses. Esa, sin esa. He is wearing okay. glasses. The man is chubby. Okay, the man is chubby. Thank you. One more sentence. He's enjoying the party a lot. It seems that he is really happy dancing. Es este uno de sus pasos? When you are dancing in a party? Just one more. The last sentence describing this guy. You say he's shabby, he's wearing glasses, and... Shakaral Chirtichu. Can you please repeat your sentence? Shakaral Okay. The last one. She, can you tell me three sentences? What does she look like? What does she look like? She is, she she's, has. She's wearing a sweater. Okay, she's wearing a green sweater. Thank I you. Mean. She has a short black hair. Perfect sentence, Lisa. Thank you. She has black, short, short black hair. She has short black hair. Una más. The last sentence about this. She is wearing high heels. Okay, excellent. She is wearing high heel shoes. Great. Thank you for your sentences. Then let's go with the next one. <clears throat> I have in this picture Eric, Ken, Elizabeth, Mike, and Dave. So I'm looking for Mike. Can you tell me some sentences to find Mike? Who's Mike? Or which one is Mike? He's the one wearing a sweater, a yellow sweater. Mm, is it a sweater or a jacket? A jacket. Jacket. Okay. Any other sentence? He wears a black sheet. He is wearing he is wearing glasses. Okay, thank you. He's wearing glasses. Tell me. He's a, a white shirt. Okay. He's the one wearing a white shirt. He's the one he's, wearing glasses. He's the, he's the one, the one ha, ha, has a hair, a, a short hair. Okay. Short hair. Okay. He is the man with short hair. Very good sentence. Thank he's you. He's wearing now, uh, green pants. He's wearing green pants. Green pants. <laughs> Brown, I guess. I'm sorry. Brown, brown pants. Is, yes, sorry. He's the one yes. wearing brown pants. Thank you. Now tell me, I'm looking for, let's see, Beth. Who is Beth? Which one is Beth? Who's Beth? Which one is Beth? She is uh, elegant. <laughs> okay, come on, say yes, Anderson. The woman. The elegant woman. The woman is elegant. The woman, the elegant. The elegant woman. She is the smallest one. Ah, okay, thank you. She is the smallest one. Ella es la más pequeñita del grupo. And then you say she is the, she's the elegant. 
woman is the elegant woman uh, she's the one wearing green pants okay excellent she's the one wearing green pants is the one wearing green hat. Thank you. Let's see now, can you please help me to find they? Who's they? Who's they? Who's they? She's the man wearing black jeans or black pants. Black pants, okay. He's the man. He's the man wearing black pants. Excellent. Two more sentences. Who's they? Who's they? Uh, he's the one without hair. Okay. He is the one without hair. The bold, the bold one, right? Okay, he's the bold one. Okay, he's the bold one. Thank you. Una más. Okay, do you have any question about this topic? Question? No question? Are you sure? No teacher. Okay. No teacher. Okay, then let's continue then. Just give me a second. Okay, I'm going to show you these two girls and you have to tell me who is Jennifer. So who's Jennifer? Which one is Jennifer? Tell me some sentences. I won't help you. You have to tell me five sentences. Who's Jennifer? Jennifer is the girl that is using a computer and drinking a coffee in her bed. Is it in or on? On her bed. Thank you so much. You have to say three sentences. She is the woman drinking coffee. She is the woman using a computer. And she is the woman uh, working on her bed. Thank you. Excellent sentences. I need two more. I have three. I need two more sentences. Who is Jennifer? She's the one wearing white pants and gray, I don't know, sweater? Sweater, I guess. Yes, excellent sentence. She's the one wearing white pants and gray sweater. Or white she's pajamas. The one, she's the one uh, taking well, drink a cup of coffee. Okay, she's the one drinking coffee. Thank you. The one with the computer. Okay. And um, what about her hair? Ella está en su cuarto. Okay, she's the woman working in her room. Excellent sentence. She's the woman working in her room. Okay, now let's go with Kenya. Who's Kenya? She's the woman doing yoga. Perfect sentence, thank you. The one next to the dog. She is the one next to the dog. Perfect sentence. Thank you. She's the woman wearing the black pants. Thank you so much. Perfect sentence too. 
She's the woman wearing black pants. She has, she has very wavy well hair. <laughs> okay, she's the woman or she's the one, she's the girl with curly hair. Thank you. Una última oración. They want they flow. Can you please repeat? They want on the floor. Okay, she's the one uh, sitting on the floor. Thank you. She's the one sitting on the floor. You can say she's the one between the windows too. And also Jennifer, she's the woman in front of the computer. Okay, excellent sentences. Thank you so much. Questions? Do you have any questions? No questions about tonight class? No question, teacher. Okay, that's great. Then let's go with the platform exercises. Do you have any question about the platform exercises? No questions? No questions. Okay, that's great then. Just give me a second. Okay, here is the exercise we are going to review in case you haven't done it yet. So here we go. Okay, I'm sharing with you my screen. Let me know please if you can see it. Can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay, Thank let's you. complete this in a hurry. Choose the sentence and using modifier with participle or preposition correctly. Those are the instructions. Clark is the tall guy. He's wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. <laughs> what is the Clark answer? Is the one t shirt, option one. Clark okay. is, the, is the tall guy wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. Okay, thank you. What are cargo pants? Did you look for this? Which are cargo pants? We call them commandos, right? Do you remember about those pants? Adam and Lowe's are the good looking couple. They are talking to Tom. I need to put together these two sentences. Which one is the correct? Option one. one. The one Adam, Adam and, Lowe's and Lowe's are the good-looking uh, good couple talking to Tom. Okay, great. Lynn is the young girl. She's in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. She's in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. What is the right sentence? Option one. Option one, two. Lynn is the young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Blue jeans. Okay, what is a striped t-shirt? Did you look for this vocabulary? What do you think a striped t-shirt? <laughs> Jessica. One. What? One. In number four, Jessica is the attractive the... woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. Option one, two, Jessica is the attractive woman sitting on the left of Antonio. And the last one, number one, two. One. Really, it's one? Yes. yes. AJ one. is the serious looking boy. He's listening to his new Salsa CD. AJ is the serious looking boy listening to his new Salsa CD. Okay, let's see if you're right. And yes, you are right. So this topic is difficult or easy for you? Easy. Do you have any question about this topic? No, teacher. No question. Okay, that's great then. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Uh, if you have any question about the exercise, write on the WhatsApp group, right? I can see a lot of messages here. 
Okay, if we want, we can discuss this exercise tomorrow, right? Is this for the final exam or the final section? Sandra, no me. Are those exercise for the section number five or final exam? Well, we are going to discuss this exercise tomorrow, right? Thank you so much, guys. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Thank you, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.